over to Blue Corner. He is making his MMA debut this evening. Stands six foot, one inch tall, weighed in at 250 pounds. He represents Marathon MMA from Overland Park, Kansas. This is Josh Slade. And now for his opponent coming out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a fight record of three wins with two losses. He represents involved MMA. Standing six foot tall, he went in at 224 pounds. From right here in Omaha, Nebraska, make some noise for Sean Kung Fu Panda. Craig. Man, I mean, in Slate's corner, we've got uh, Trey Ogden and main event from the last card, Mackenzie Wishman over there cornering him. Another guy that will never be a 205er, Mackenzie Wishman. Yeah, I'm interested to see. Josh definitely with uh, Mackenzie in his corner. He's got a really good training partner there. Oh, looks like a kick to the groin. That's where you take the five. That's that direct kick. That's that's where. Hey, he definitely got him. You can listen to so, uh oh, oh. Um, Trey Ogden. He's a fights in the UFC. Got there on the contender. Got there on Dana White's looking for a fight. Um, runs his own gym in uh, Kansas City Marathon MMA. Yep. Um, and he's trained with. There, he's got some killers in that gym too. Um, I see him quite a bit because I do a lot of shows down in Kansas City also. Um, I mean, Stephen Graham trains down there. Um, I can't even think about the guys. He's got a handful. He's got a hand. He had good showing on FAC last week. Um, he's had, I'm trying to think. I, right now, we've had a lot of his amateurs, so those are the guys that are coming to mind. But um, Mackenzie Wishman. So I really see with some of these amateurs I've seen coming up, I'm not exactly sure with what happened down there. Who came over with him? I think Kevin Crew might have come, but I'm not sure. So um, I know a lot of guys actually left the Kansas City market they in left general. That area too, yeah. Um, I think that a year ago, Glory had 45 UFC fighters training there, and now they have zero. Um, some of those guys did go to Zach Cummings Ignite MMA. And some of them did go to Trey Ogden's Marathon MMA. Um, both very capable coaches, both UFC guys. Zach Cummings is fighting in the U is fighting on April 15th in the UFC down in Kansas and City. Trey just booked his UFC fight in uh, Texas, I believe. Okay. So I know talking to Trey that they were booked up. They were traveling every week, almost every week this month. So these they're keeping these guys busy. They were supposed to be down at Cage of Honor. I mean. They keep these dudes moving around, and he gave me a big list of fighters. He has a lot of 25-35s. Uh, he had some 55ers. He's got a huge amateur team. So that's why I'm expecting him to kind of have a come up, say, in the next two years. Once you can get these guys from their amateur debuts to looking like pros. But I will tell you, Trey is a great coach. He really he's is. He's actually having a good start here. The experience is coming. I mean, he's got a lot of experience, and he's looking a lot healthier now. The one thing I'll say with Josh is he's got to be careful with some of these kicks. It looks like he's been catching shin. He's been catching knee. Oh. And that was, that's one of those Hail Mary oh, throws right there. there. That, that lat drop was good time. I was a little nervous on it a second. Man, just last but, week we saw somebody with one of those spinning kicks get themselves caught and lose a title. Yeah. Probably got herself a rematch though, but uh, <laughs> good job, Alexa. You know, Alexa is one of those people that came up in the Kansas City market with Invicta. Yeah, that's true. Invicta did help a lot for Kansas City. Invicta did well there. Let's see if Josh kind of turns in. Likely closing in on their two on her three minute mark here. Oh, he almost leaned right into that. CV Jackson's underhook. He's gonna be careful pushing in for that lat drop. 
Weird thing is, is I want to see the bigger dude wrestle. Oh, I saw a big, him. a big fist grab oh, there. Oh, good overhand. Sean doing a good job coming in with multiple shots. Oh, uh, he's gonna have to adjust that. Yep, there he goes. One, two, go two. Mm. Man, I don't think there's gonna be a second round in this, and if there is, they're gonna be taking naps. They both yeah. look exhausted. Well, that's the thing, you never, the other thing is you don't know when somebody's gonna come with an overhand and all of a sudden they're slept. I mean, that's Sean's what I, doing well, but man, as a heavyweight, you always gotta be careful. That dude's got 240, 250 on him. That right hand comes, you're going to bed, man. Well, that's the one thing about the heavyweights is you never know where the fight's gonna go because and it, it, it takes around. one hit, it takes yeah. one hit. It turns around so fast. Sean's been mixing up. One thing I will note is as, as far as amateurs, because some of it's gone a little quicker, he's done a good job mixing head and body. I feel like going to the body, that's why you saw Josh get a little bit more tired. He's kept a good pace on him, probably coming from the cardio to get down to weight, but... Man, we'll see the adjustment. I think the takedown, you saw some success at the end for Josh right there. That's where I'm going. Get him up against the cage, get the takedown there, try to outsmart him. He's I think too my, slow on the outside. My biggest thing I'm looking for in this second round is who comes out with a little bit of energy. I feel like they're we're both throwing big shots, and I feel like one of them is not going to have the gas tank the other one does. I thought Sean had a little bit better. He was looking a little bit more energy, sitting on the stool. I mean, he's kind of coming back a little bit more. So maybe he's got that. With I mean, him, I'm seeping the distance. I'm moving in. He's way faster. I'm, move, I'm in and out. I'm in and out. Maybe you go for the big throw if you're feeling it. But for the most part, I'm going to my striking. Josh, you got to find a way to get a hold of him. He comes in, you get your clinch, get to the cage. Don't do it in the open area. I'm going to watch the first minute of this and see whose mouth is open and who's got that mouth closed. Uh, Josh, man, Josh looks like he's still struggling. I don't know. That is a decent way to at least close the distance. I, it looks crazy, but sometimes good leg trip. Nice. I'm move. so glad to see. We've been working with guys in Lincoln on this. It's effective jujitsu. It's effective wrestling. I don't want to call it lazy wrestling, but it's easy ways to get takedowns without trying as hard. But it you comes start, right down to it's about getting the guys to the ground. With Doesn't the matter least how you get amount there. of energy, too. You can do that all day. Now Josh up in, in mount. You got Sean's feet away. Oh, you want to slow this down? Oh, he missed that. He was almost going to roll him. He's got to get that left knee in and turn back. Turn back around. It looks like Josh has that choke, maybe. Nope. So do you think and he, we got oh, a tap? There's the tap. He did have the choking, apparently. Good comeback from Josh. Smart changing strategy. I really like the idea of going against the cage. And I honestly, it looked a little wild, but the jump knee helped because it gets, it made him move to the back. And Trey went for a ride. <laughs> that's a guy you're gonna start recognizing in this cage a lot more. I know the last show he was up here, our commentators had no idea who he was. Oh, I plan on, Hey, as far as, he's a really good fighter, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I think you're gonna remember Trey Ogden as a coach. You watch his style, he is very technical everywhere. And I think when he starts moving this into his amateurs, he's gonna be one of those dudes, he was a really good fighter, but he's gonna be a great coach. Make some noise for both these fighters. And now for your winner at 52 seconds of the second round, you to tap out, do a rear naked joke, make some noise for Josh Slade. Good for Josh, a little older. I don't know if this will be a one and done or what he's doing, but good for him. Hey, 